everybody. Now we're going to start the next portion of the press conference over from the MLS Next All Star Hotel with Javi Morales, uh, Academy coach. First question to Michelle Kaufman. Hey, Javi, congratulations for uh, getting the honor of being able to coach. Um, can you just talk about in general, you know, you've been around the league a long time, uh, the emergence of this league of the MLS next and, and the talent that you're seeing out there from, from your players and also the other ones that, that you're coaching over there. Uh, how is this helping to, uh, you know, to improve the league going forward? I know that there's a lot of young talent now coming into the league. Um, yes, first, thank you. And then, you know, like, I think it's going to be massive. You know, if I, I have been talking, you know, yesterday um, with a lot of people in MLS, and I think this is the next step that the MLS need uh, to keep moving forward, right? Um, because now in the beginning, you know, we start with bringing, you know, like superstar, but probably, you know, like in the end of their career. But now we start to bring young, young star, young players to the league, and that's improving a lot. And for me, the next step is to start to play young players, you know, from our academy. And, and what they're doing, you know, right now with the MLS Next is, is great. It's unbelievable in the way that, we, that we're growing. We have the opportunity to compete against international teams. So that is, is I think, is going to be great. Thanks, Molly. Thanks, Javi. Um, I, I was just curious as to with you coaching this team and what you're going to learn about the process of of seeing that that finished product that that you know you you had coached some of these guys or, or played or coached against some of these guys when they were in the academy level now seeing them at th this sort of next step of, of what it's going to be like seeing their own development what that will be like for you as a coach. No, it's good. Uh, it's really good. You know, like you you feel like that you that you help in a, a little bit, you know. Um, but also when you see players, you know, I don't know, when I see Noah Allen, you know, play his, his first game with, with the first team, you know, like players like Benjamin Kremaschi uh, scoring goals in the in the second team, you know, when you see those products from our academy, you know, that they're going up and they doing well, you know, like we, we motivate, you know, about, about that because I think in South Florida, there is a lot of talent. A lot of talent so then you know it's our work to try to to find them and try to help them to to make the next step to the to the professional level next question is for miles sorry about that hello good morning uh, i just wanted uh, to have uh, to ask you about the young players and the evolution of the league uh for to have an all-star game for the mls uh, youth players if you could just speak on the opportunity it provides for these young players. Um, yeah, I think I think it's, it's like I said before, it's great, and um, especially because um, this league, you know, like a few years ago, uh, we didn't have academies, so we just have a few academies, you know. But right now, you know, like everyone, uh, every team in the league has uh, an academy. It's really important for develop. Also, uh, almost. Every kid around this country had the opportunity to 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 reach a, a pro environment, so that is pretty cool. So now players going to the academy and training there every day develop because believe me, we have talent in this country. So the the the, the thing right now is try to find them and try to help them to to go to the next step. But it's it's great to see how the academies in this country are. are getting bigger and bigger every year yeah i just wanted to, to ask you real quick about the u16 and u19s uh the announcement yesterday of of, of that the new program um how that'll help the u15s and the u17s sort of create that again that path that you were talking about to the first team yes i, I think the main idea to do that is is, is going to help the academy right because like i said before in south florida it's a lot of talents and the champ from the 15 to the 17 sometimes it's too big and in that process we lose players in the in the beginning so now the idea to having a 16 there is to give those players another opportunity okay so then if you can see you're going to have like from the u12 through the u17 like every year is going to have the opportunity to have an academy and then the champ is going to be a little bit bigger from the 17 to the 19 but 
and the players they, are, they already develop and, and, and that sham shouldn't be shouldn't be a problem. Also having a U19 there, you know, is, is important for us because having the second teams, we can have more fluid players moving up and down all the time. And, and like I say, you know, the main uh, objective for us and, as an academy is, is like to develop players for the, for the first team. So I think the, the program running is more complete and we are really happy about that.